spending the day doing some deep dropping offshore. We're right outside of Boca, about oh, 700 and says 775. And we're targeting these black belly rose fish. I mean, what an absolutely awesome looking creature. Deep dropping in December, baby. You got Look a golden this one, baby, right here. That a boy. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> get, in here, get in here. Get in here. <laughs> You know, what you want to do when you get to the bottom, I like to fish in free spool with my thumb on the spool. I want to make sure that my sinker, my rig stays in contact with the bottom. If I'm not really worried about getting hung up, then I want that dragon right across the bottom. So every now and then, I'm just going to pay out just a little bit of line just to make sure that I maintain that contact with the bottom. And sometimes you get a bite, you can let out a few feet, let them eat it a little bit before you lock up and come tight. But it's really a game of feel, you know, having a clear understanding of not only what's going on up here toward the surface, but more importantly, what's going on down on the bottom with your rig. You know, you've got to imagine that. What's my rig doing? What are my baits looking like? What do the fish see? You know, is that presentation right? There you go. Carlos just pulled up a nice double. You know, you gotta stay on top of it. It's like every other fishery. It's all about all of the little nuances and the little details and paying attention. I mean, certainly anybody can come out here, you know, a blind squirrel can find a nut and catch a few fish. But to do it consistently, you know, in any venue requires a lot of attention to detail. Oh, yes. I like that. The big head bob. Like Good. something nasty down there. Nice! It's got a little weight now. Oh, yeah. Look at him digging. Hold on. Oh, yeah, baby. That's the one we're waiting for. Don't let it go. All right. <laughs> Bringing up my rig, got sharked again. You can see a nice clean cut right there on the end of that oh, leader. That's, that's a shark that actually just ate the fish that I had on there and cut me off. So it's super important whenever you're heading out here deep dropping, bring more than one rig. Let me just tell you that. You know, make sure you've got a good three or four rigs per angler per rod because it's easy to go through them. And make sure you've got plenty of lead as well. Two pounds, three pounds, four, five, ten pounds. Of course, it's going to vary depending on the depth and the speed of the current. But being well prepared is the key to success. The pain is real. Couple decent ones, couple dinks. 